After various tragic incidents of drowning have plagued the Port Sydney Dam, some good news has come down as the town of Huntsville and the MNRF have been able to come to an agreement on providing new warnings and safety measures at the popular swimming site. The MNRF will put uh, signage here uh, without the town engaging in a lease agreement with them and provide a life ring as well. I think maybe the life ring may become a responsibility of, of the town, but we do have them in other locations, so I don't, I don't think it's a big deal for us to, to take that on. MPP Graydon Smith, who is also the Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry, says he felt this was an issue he personally needed to ensure was dealt with quickly. As someone that grew up in Port Sydney and knows all too well about those tragic incidents, I was uh, you know, more than happy to help and have a conversation with our officials. And it was just one of those things uh, you know, of communication right, and, and prioritization. And um, once uh, you know, we were able to, to make it clear that you know, this is an area that you know, people do go to frequently uh, and do go in the water frequently and that there has been some tragedies there in the past, uh, you know, very, very, very quickly we said, okay, we'll get signs up and we'll get a, a life ring in and work with the town you know, the, the best we can. The deaths that have happened at this site tend to be when swimmers aren't wearing life jackets and are taken underwater by the strong current. Fitzgerald says he's heard the concerns from the Port Sydney community about this area and he's hopeful this provides a resolution that protects future lives. One, one life lost is one too many. And to see some of the locals here that have to get in and perform life-saving exercises for swimmers in distress, it's, it's, it's stressful and it, uh, it shouldn't happen. So hopefully this is a step in the right direction and, and we get positive results with it.